I'm going to talk today about one of these mods or upgrades you can do to Volkswagens via VAGCOM. It turns out that if you have um, uh, rain automatic wipers, you can set the car to close its windows if they're open and the car detects rain on the uh, on the sensor. Now, this only works while the car is locked, so it uh, it won't do it while you're using the car. Um, I think it's worth a worthwhile mod uh, if you you know have to leave the car outdoors a lot, um, like we do. It allows a, a little bit of fresh air without worrying about rain getting the inside wet. Uh, this is a Golf 6, um, but it should work the same on uh, most modern Volkswagens. Uh, this is different, of course, to the remote close um, windows convenience function where you use the remote. Uh, for this, uh, you do need the rain light sensor. It obviously uh, won't work without that uh, and the automatic wiper stalk. Now you need a VCDS uh, or a different VDub scan tool. Uh, I'm using VCDS here. It's a tiny bit more complicated than other coding because uh, there are two or three steps you have to do. Firstly, uh, you put the ignition on and get the scan tool into control modules and open number nine, uh, central electronics. Then open coding and uh, make sure you've got the first sub-module uh, which is zero here selected. Now, in VCDS, you can use the long coding helper, which on most cars will give you the uh, idiot proof tick boxes like this. You'll need to find the uh, Windows via rain sensor options. Uh, there are two of them. Uh, they're under a byte four in this Golf 6. Uh, see here um, comfort operation Windows slash sunroof via rain sensor. And then the one under that is uh, the same, but uh, rain closing active. So I needed to check both of these. I've read on the, on some cars that the second one is uh, labeled inactive. So it's, you know, as opposed to active. So it's the other way around. It needs to be zero or the box cleared. So uh, just pay attention to that one. So I applied that new coding. Uh, just as an aside, I always keep a manual log of coding changes on a step-by-step -step basis so that I can always revert any screw-ups to the previous state. Uh, VCDS keeps a sort of log on, um, on its own, but uh, I just like to have separate notes as well. Uh, you can copy straight from the uh, VCDS dialogues. So do it. Uh, but that's just the first step. Uh, you also need to turn this on in the uh, rain light sensor module itself, which is different. So that is in the same main module, uh, Central Electronics, uh, but you must find the sub-module which is labeled uh, Rain Light Sensor or um, RLS, like here. It's the, uh, the third one, or index two in this case. Then again, open the long coding helper for that. And this one is um, much simpler than the primary module, only a few options. We just want uh, Rain Closing Active, which is uh, bit number two here. And again, I, I just copied that uh, previous coding just to make sure it's backed up and then apply the update. So that's it on the scan tool side. Uh, you should then cycle the ignition. And when you turn it back on, you need to go into the uh, multifunction display dash menu and uh, check if the option is actually enabled. So I should say on basic models that don't have the MFD, uh, setting the um, active or inactive bit correctly in the first step um, is the key here. Um, it will just be enabled with nothing more to do if you've done that. Um, but if you do have the MFD, then you need to go in here and uh, you should see a new option available under settings and then convenience. Uh, it appears at the top of this uh, on this car and it was enabled already by default. Just check that it is. And you can always turn it off here as well if you want. When it's on, um, it's not a function of the auto wipers. You see, I'll, uh, I'll turn off the wipers at the stalk here. And I'll also turn off the auto headlight switch just so that everything to do with the rain light sensor is off. Now, what you do is um, leave the windows down as far as you want and uh, you must lock the car. And then the sensor will remain active uh, checking for water. The sensor is basically just an infrared LED and a photo cell in combination. And it just watches for reflected infrared back off any water. So it does use a tiny bit of power and uh, my understanding is that the car will turn it off and wind up the windows after 24 hours, regardless of any rain. And you can test it by just spraying some water on the windscreen.
and the windows should close after a second or so. Last thing I want to say is uh, this is an option, uh, not a default for a reason. It's possible to think of uh, hypothetical scenarios that might be dangerous, uh, like if you had pets, a uh, cat or dog, or even badly behaved children prone to jumping into the car. Um, because remember, the car will uh, probably be deadlocked, so um, the internal door handles don't work, you know, even for people as opposed to cats and dogs. So um, if that's a concern to you, then uh, you might mitigate that by, you know, only leaving the windows down an inch or two so that nothing too big can get inside. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Have fun.